Excellent! What's up guys, welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today's video I am actually trying to do two things with. Uh, the first thing should hopefully, obviously, be uh, in the title of the video, which is an unboxing, an overview, a quick review of the Mod Mic 5 by Antlion. Uh, but also I'm trying to do this video in sort of a new style, a different way. It's actually a style that's a little bit easier for me to create because my goal for 2017 is to up my video count per week and to do uh, hopefully four videos a week instead of what I've been doing for the past couple years, which is three videos a week. So if I can do this type of video, it means I can take products that are maybe a little bit simpler, that don't require quite as much time and still do a video on them, also hopefully will give me the ability to crank out another video each week without affecting how much time I have to invest with the videos that I already do. So all that being said, let's get this out of the box. Actually, before the unboxing, uh, let's quickly explain what these are for and what it does. Uh, the mod mic allows you to take something uh, like a set of headphones, like what these are, and make them into a headset, like what this is, because headsets are kind of no notoriously bad at prov providing good sound quality. Although this one is definitely an exception because these are by Sennheiser, but these are also quite expensive. Uh, Sennheiser has a nice set of headsets that are all in like the $200 to $300 range that do a good job, but the primary difference between a headset and headphones is the existence of a microphone. So boom mic flips down like that on something like a headset. Headphones, you have a much wider variety uh, when it comes to your options. And also because these are made by lots of different companies other than companies that just make headsets that are specifically for gaming, uh, these happen to be some Fostex T50 RPs that were custom modified uh, by the kind folks over at Mayflower Electronics. But um, you, you have lots of options, so it can give you the ability to find a set of headphones that you like a lot, and then add the Mod Mic 5, and voila, you have yourself a headset without the limiting factors that headsets are known for, which is often poor quality. And I think this has to do with companies just being able to get into the headset market very easily. I think there's a similarity there with the... Uh, with, with keyboards as well because I just you find so many keyboard manufacturers out there now and uh, the same with headsets and they're often just really mediocre because it's not too difficult apparently to get everything together to put together a headset anyway uh, here's everything that comes in the box which is pretty much all uh, this is a wrap for the cables so since you are going to be adding an additional wire that is one of the Slight downsides to this configuration is like with a headset that's all set up like this one from Sennheiser, you have your uh, analog headphone and microphone jacks that are just connected up directly. With the mod mic, you're going to have an extra cable coming from the mod mic itself, which means that you're going to have two cables coming off of your headphones, but they've done their best to uh, help you deal with that in that they've given you a carrying case, first of all. Uh, they've given you this wire wrap so you can wrap up everything if you want to set up a bit more of a permanent solution. Uh, or you can um, just use these little clips that it comes with as well, which I believe are buried yeah, straight down here. So the little kit of accessories they're providing you gives you an alcohol prep pad. That's because you're going to be using some adhesive to connect the Mod Mic 5 up to your uh, headphones. And then they've also got these magnetic pieces, which again are well magnetized, uh, so you can actually connect that. So it's got some pretty strong adhesive there. You just remove that and put that on the side of your headphones. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of do this on the fly right now, and hopefully using the methods that they recommend. So I've cleaned off a little area. Now, since you're using adhesive here, you're probably gonna want to find the, the flattest and, and cleanest area you can. Although, um, if you guys already spotted Kyle's video on this, since uh, the Mod Mic 5 actually came out back in December, and there's a couple videos out on it already, uh, he actually connected it up to. Uh, a part of his headphones that actually looked more like this does on my Sennheiser, like right there, and it still gripped on there just fine. Um, so it's a pretty good adhesive and you should be okay. I do recommend going with the left side uh, just to stay where your cable will probably also be coming out for the uh, headphones themselves. And here we go. And actually, before I go ahead and pop that on, although I have already removed the adhesive backing, I'm going to connect it up to the uh, mod mic itself, so there you can see how pretty strong mag magnet will hold this in place. And then this can rotate um, 90 degrees, which is what you're going to do to flip it up or flip it back down. So I'm just connecting this up to make sure that when I actually attach it onto here, it's going to be coming down at the right angle and everything. So here goes. Alright, so just with some firm pressure there, and the adhesive is going to stick, and now we have a microphone connected up to our headphones. 
Now, before I finish setting all that up, let's uh, quickly go over the uh, all the accessories that are included. Now, uh, one of the complaints with the earlier mod mic, the mod mic 4, was that it came with a very long cable, and uh, getting that sort of tidied away and cable managed was difficult. So this time they've uh, gone with giving you a couple different extensions. So you can use one of these or both of these, uh, depending on your what your needs may be. Uh, and that provides a little bit more modularity and flexibility since this is the mod mic. Nice little carrying case here as well. Fold up little pouch, the Antlion logo or Antlion brand on it. Uh, so that's pretty nice to have as well if you do need to take this on the go. You do get an extra one of these guys, which is the little magnetic piece that you actually connect to your headphones. So they have provided an extra, which could give you the flexibility to say, connect that up to a couple different head headphones and you know be able to pass it back and forth between them or a replacement if you uh, lose yours and then of course an extra little adhesive tab to connect that up. This is also nice to have because as I've already done on this one uh, it's got a flip up feature again with that magnet so when you flip it up or flip it back down it will sort of stay in place but I managed to put mine in a position that where this is kind of conflicting with that when I put it back this way so it's not always staying on. It's a, Again, it's a really powerful magnet, so flipping up is okay. Flipping back, just I, I kind of get a bit of a bump there, so I might change that, and then we'll see how, how much of a pain that actually is. Uh, but then also they give you an inline mute function, so you'd have a, a couple different functions you can adjust with the mod mic. This is just mute, so again, it's inline, so just plug into your eighth inch jacks wherever you want it, whether you want it right up by your face or further down, and then, you know, just mute audio on and off. Antlion also sent over a couple additional accessories. Uh, these are not included, but uh, possibly recommended if needed. So this one is a tip ring ring sleeve uh, jack that splits out a combo. So if you have a combo jack like on a laptop or something with mic and headphone in the same jack, you can use this to be able to plug in discreetly your separate uh, sources for your uh, audio mic in and, and audio line out. Uh, and then another thing that you might need is, well, a good sound source from, from the get-go. So depending on where your sound is coming from, or maybe if you don't have that great of audio solution in your in your laptop, uh, then you could get something like this, which is just a little USB sound card, an external USB sound card that provides mic and headphone jacks. Again, I'm not expecting this to be on the level of quality of like a really high-end external DAC or something like that, but it can get you up and running if you really only have an audio, or you only have a USB port, but you need the uh, audio device as well. And uh, these are all available on the Antline website if you're interested. And now here's a look at the uh, the actual mod mic boom and mic itself installed, as you can see. Um, now you can actually un undo this little piece right here and flip it around if you need to uh, move it to the other side. That is an option. Or you can simply, um, with the included magnet, just flip it all the way around like that if you want. Um, if you did need to flip the uh, headphones around and wear them the opposite way, depending on how you have it set up, of course. I like it like this because usually the boom on a headset is on the left side. Uh, now it is very flexible so you can take this and bend it around however you want and it does seem to stay very well uh, in whatever position that you put it in. So that's uh, flexible but stays nice and rigid once you actually get it set up. Uh, and then down here you actually have the ability to change, let me just pop this off really quick, uh, you have the ability to change the mic configuration. So you can do unidirectional mode or omnidirectional mode. So if you want unidirectional, uh, you have it in the position it's in right now, and that will give you a little bit better performance if you're in a noisy environment, if you're, say, at a LAN party or something like that, and there's lots of noise going on, or flip it back to omnidirectional mode, uh, and that will give you better noise quality overall, but that's going to be less useful in a noisy environment, So because it will pick up uh, lots of stuff that's around you. Uh, it does come with a, uh, a wind protection, a pop filter there on the microphone itself, and then that's pretty much, you know, all there is to it. It's a fairly simple design, but also fairly effective, um, and let's, let's actually put it into practice and give it, give it a try. Actually, before we do the test, here's a quick look at the wiring setup, at least now as I have it set up. Now, bear in mind, this is sort of a different set of headphones because this does have a, uh, an eighth inch jack on the headphones themselves, so you know, bear that in mind. But as you can see, I've used the little clasps to just sort of connect these up and wire them together going down the line. So obviously this isn't the cleanest solution, so depending on how picky you are about your cable management, you may or may not want to go with this route. Or again, uh, that is part of the reason they included this stuff here, uh, was so you can actually give yourself a bit more of a permanent solution by wrapping this around. But um, this stuff is pretty, like, thick and it's already you know, it's, it's already kind of pre-rolled into this loop right here, so you need to kind of undo that, 
and then feed the cable through it and then uh, you can cut this to length if you need to and you know maybe uh, use, a, use a lighter to, to seal up the end there if you uh, also need to do that but there is plenty uh, I'm not going to do that for now because I don't want quite that much of a permanent solution um, but anyway here this is set up for now and uh, the boom is even popping up and down without too much difficulty just like that and here it is guys my full new headphone turned into headset configuration uh, and you're actually hearing the mod mic 5 right now I have it plugged in directly to the camera and I'm in omnidirectional mode which should provide a little bit better sound quality but again it's going to pick up more ambient noise around me fortunately it's fairly quiet here in the garage hero is not snoring at this point um, but we also have of course unidirectional mode so let me switch over to that all right, this is unidirectional mode. So again, it's gonna be more directed towards my face to pick up what I'm saying and pick up less of what's around me, but uh, sound quality is probably gonna be reduced just ever so slightly. Um, now, I don't have a Mod Mic 4 to compare this to, so if you guys are looking for some more side-by-side -side comparisons, I've mentioned already that Kyle has already did a video on this uh, particular product, so I'm gonna link that in the description because he does a side-by-side -side -side comparison with the Mod Mic 4 because it might be something that a lot of people are considering upgrading uh, from to come over to this. Now, this uh, Mod Mic 5 costs 70 bucks right now directly from the Antline website, and that's a little steep. If you're considering that your headphones are going to cost probably 80 to 120, 150 dollars for a decent set of headphones, add that cost on top of it, you're again getting yourself up into that price range where you could potentially get like a nice set of Sennheisers or something like that. So it is going to be up to the individual whether they think it is worth that cost. You can still get the Mod Mic 4 for uh, 50 bucks, so that's still a pretty good deal. And the sound quality really is pretty minor when it comes to the upgrade. The upgrades they've med made, it's more of a function functionality improvement that they've done with the Mod Mic 5. So I think this is mainly going to be suited for people who really have a favorite pair of headphones and they really want to keep them and they like listening to music and games and whatever else with it but they're also like man it'd be nice if I had headsets or a mic option with this that wasn't like a desktop one so that I could play games with it and, and talk to people online. But that's going to wrap it up here, guys. So uh, let me know, of course, what you think of the Mod Mic 5. Let me know what you think of this style of video production that I have done today. Because, again, it was a little bit more on the fly. I think I got some decent information out there for you guys. But uh, it's a little bit easier for me to produce. So, again, hopefully this is hitting that mid-range between a good video for you guys, a little bit easier of a time for me, and uh, getting you guys some more content as we proceed in 2017. Of course, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Leave me comments in the comment section. And let me know, again, what you think of this product or of my video style and uh, links are down in the description for this product and my store and all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you next time.